Welcome to Cosmos Sexy vs Skanky. I'm Lindsay Rodriguez and this is my dazzling co-host Mike Cannon. Hey! A trendy bag, a chunky necklace, a shiny ring, nothing elevates your look like a hot accessory. Which is why Lindsay keeps getting engaged. Four times. Here to help us strike the right balance is the patriarch of our glam fam, it's Glamo! Glamo! Oh, you look great, buddy. Is Belle Biv DeVoe getting back together? <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, this is poison, honey. Tell us about your art hat. I'm obsessed with it. This is a little bit of my um, hardware style that I'm wearing. You know that I am a fashion accessory whore. Yes, I will twerk for an accessory. So I'm glad that you invited me to be here today. Anyway, Glamo, what are your tips for wearing just the right amount of accessories? I'm thinking you're the epitome of it right here. I think the thing to remember when it comes to accessories is that accessories seal the deal to your wardrobe. Um, your accessories speak volumes. So you want it to be loud. I mean, you want it to say something. You want your accessories to be a conversational piece. Um, if not, then you're not really in the game. Wouldn't the opposite be true though, Glamo? If you're not making any accessories, isn't that a loud statement by itself? No, it's just boring as hell. You do not want your accessories to be fussy or to compete. I always say that you need to edit. Put it all on and then right before you go out of the door, take a few things off. That's why I always leave the house wearing a condom. <laughs> it's an accessory, it goes with my outfit. Another thing that uh, women should remember when it comes down to accessorizing is that the point of being matchy-matchy is done. Uh, oh, that's a whole like shoes, bag, belt, should all be like the same shade of brown. Yeah, it right. does not have to match. But it's cool to have a little hint of matchy-matchy, right? Because you got the yellow and the fresh yellow at the bottom mm. of your sneakers. Of hint. You want a hint. You want to find something and pick up on it and then accessorize like that. Like, so your voice whispers little hints to people. And you like it, don't you? I do. Oh, never get to hanging out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> lastly. Lastly, I would say if you're going to wear something that's more so simplistic and you want to give it some pop, then go ahead and put on something chunky and let the conversation piece or the tone, what it is you're talking about, be about the jewelry. If you're going to wear something that has a, a, a lot of pop to it, then it's okay to go ahead and put on something delicate and softer and it it works. So something chunky like a big cuff or a necklace it works best with like say a little black dress. Exactly. I feel like that's so weird. Girls look like the genie from Aladdin when they wear those long, like big, I don't know. It just You don't it, like them? I'm honestly not a huge fan of the chunky. I just feel like it's too much and it's all over the place. Like women are beautiful creatures. I don't feel like they need all of that. I like the delicate because it tends to accent their natural beauty where they let that kind of speak instead of the just uh, stuff that they're wearing all over themselves. Like we're not talking about beauty here, we're talking about fashion. <laughs> they don't go hand in hand? Like, I mean, yeah, but we're not talking about putting on makeup, like accessorizing your makeup. We're talking about accessorizing your outfit. But it's so, a whole look, okay, ain't it? Okay, Glamo's giving us the angry eyes, which can only mean one thing. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna have a great debate and you'll get a chance to say your piece and so will you. So you can go first. Tell us why you like delicate and go. I like delicate because in my opinion, less is more. No, but I just feel like all the chunky stuff, it just makes them look like Iron Man with half his suit on. It's just too much, it looks all bulky and just, I don't know, I'm just not into it. I like smaller stuff so I can focus on them as a person as opposed to just the gaudy nonsense they're wearing to cover up their awful personality. <laughs> and glamour, go. I mean, like I said, it's about being appropriate. It's a time and place to wear everything. Not every woman wants to be demure and simplistic with their look. So why not kick it up a notch, add some great statement jewelry. Like, you need that embellishment. We are talking about accessories. I find women more attractive in sweatpants, frankly. I'm sure you do. <laughs> because I'm usually in sweatpants. So I think that you probably need to date Gertrude the librarian then because chunky statement jewelry is in right now, it's trending. So good luck with that. Well, Gertrude wears very minimal stuff and she's got a fat ass. Purely because he's stuck to the topic, Glamo wins. I think you need a timeout. Off you go. Celebrities never leave home without their favorite accessories. They're a big part of their signature look. Let's see how well we know those key pieces with a little game called Jewels of the Trade. This is how it works. We'll throw up a picture of an accessory, a bag, a necklace, whatever it is, and then we have to guess who the celebrity is based on the item that we see. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at the first accessory. Okay, well this is a quite a youthful, like the stacked bracelets, the neon pink, so let's go with, I'm gonna go with someone young. Wow. Mary-Kate Olsen. 
I definitely agree that it's somewhat youthful. This looks kind of cheap though. Um, maybe a Miley Cyrus. I'm gonna go with Vanessa Hudgens. She's very rock lately. She got those long Rihanna nails. She probably wears a bunch of those things. I'm gonna go with her. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's see who it is. It is Jessica Alba. Oh, horse shit. How old is that picture though? And she looks very young there. Not that she has aged at all, ever. Um, well, you know, if she was probably on vacation. Oh, she's not on vacation. She's holding a microphone. She looks like maybe she's wearing her daughter's charms as a way to uh, love them always. There you go. Nailed it. Next, that is um, Kate Middleton or Princess Diana, which would be very creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a woman who has money. We know that, obviously. I would say that it's probably, I would go with a real housewife, but I would go with the Beverly Hills cast. Maybe it's, um, oh, Miss Thing with the accent. Kate Middleton. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Kate Middleton. That is Diana's engagement ring, which Will then gave to Kate. So why the hell do you have me sitting here trying to guess it then? <laughs> Just because we like to put you through torture. Oh, she did. By all means, continue. I know, I'm finished. Like, no, I actually knew that because it looks like the heart of the ocean on a it band. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. I feel like I asked. I was to be fair, I'm of that commonwealth, so I'm privy to knowing these royals. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd do ben, it. you're a huge fan of engagement rings. <laughs> 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 Amazing. Okay, next. Well, I guess someone whose name begins with S. It's a nameplate of sorts. Sarah Jessica Parker? No. No? Okay. Selena Gomez. That's, That's what, what I was going to say. Oh, I was just saying S names, but what I'll go. We, what, do we got a triple kiss now? <sighs> Let's not. No time. <laughs> say we never did. Who is it? Okay, so it's actually Katie Holmes, not Selena or Sarah. S for Surrey. S for So glad I divorced Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Next. All right, so here's the last picture. It's a yoga mat. So I'm immediately thinking of the Gwyneth Paltrow or Jennifer Aniston, because everyone knows they are fanatics about that whole thing, so. I'm kind of in the same uh, range with you. So maybe if you say one, I'll say the other. Oh, very lazy of you. All right. Um. But it's the truth. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I will go. But at least make an educated guess based on the picture, because I can think of one clue which would negate one of those people. The lack of wedding ring. Oh, <laughs> of course, I picked that up. Jen. I'm gonna. I'm, no, I'm going with Jen. She's my idol. She's I'm, my idol. She's my guess. You're stuck with Gwen. <sighs> I'm gonna go with Hillary Duff. Let's have a look. Oh, it's Reese oh, Witherspoon. Three. Who's married? Who is married? So yeah. the ring was uh, Maybe I should just start carrying yoga mat around the subway so people think that I am actually invested in my health. Yeah, I wear cut off sleeves sometimes just to be like, whoa, what a pump. But I've never touched any weight in my life. So I'm very happy to announce that the winner of that little game was me. Which one? Because, because I got Kate Middleton's ring. I said it too. You agreed with my statement. But I said I knew it because it looks like the heart of the ocean. Yes, but I said it first, which prompted you to then say, oh, yeah, it looks like the heart of the ocean. You didn't probably actually know that it was. Just because your family came from that country. And... Exactly. We'll give you half a point. Either way, you got nothing. I mean, real housewife. <laughs> what the hell was that glamour? You still got a fly hat, though. Don't I? And that's the game, and I win. Congratulations, first time for everything. Seriously, yeah, no, seriously. Want some more advice on how you can rock the trends? Check out these episodes on full fashion and short hair. And of course, our bonus video will be awesome. It's got accessories and the very best accessory of them all, Glamour. You've been amazing, if not a little angry today. Oh. Okay, so I'll be angry, Glamour, just for today. Mad Glamour. You were a scowling treat. Scowling <laughs> treat, I like that. And everyone at home, thank you guys so much for watching. Yep, and don't forget to subscribe to the Hello Style channel and check back every week for more episodes. And remember, when you go to accessorize, keep it sexy, not skanky. See you next time.